Now to a look at the man behind that honor and what a major honor it is. A Navy destroyer bearing the name of Alaska's longest serving U.S. Senator, Ted Stevens. We now take a look back in time at what led up to this military tribute on a ship with the motto, lead with courage. Theodore Fulton Stevens, better known as Ted Stevens, Senator Stevens, or simply Uncle Ted. His political life launching in 1968. A reporter came up and handed me a telegram. And I read it and said, Senator Bartlett just died. It was former Governor Wally Hickel who appointed a 45-year-old Stevens to fill a vacancy in the U.S. Senate. Two years later, in 1970, the now Senator Ted Stevens was elected to the post with more than 70% of the vote, sparking a career that would lead him to the very top of Capitol Hill. I, I don't have any ambitions other than to be an effective senator. I would not want to be around here if I'm not effective. Uh, and, and, uh, but my grandmother used to tell me only the good die young. And while he didn't die young, the 86-year-old who died in a 2010 plane crash was remembered for all the good he'd done. No senator in the history of the United States has ever done more for his state than Senator Ted Stevens. We love to have the opportunity to say goodbye to a man we dearly love and respect and wish him well in this journey. From locals to those from across the nation and the aisle who served with him for decades. Every man or woman who comes to the United States Senate brings with them a piece of their state. Everyone who goes there brings something of a piece of their state. But Ted Stevens, unlike any other man or woman with whom I served, was his state. On behalf of Alaskans everywhere, we thank you. And we love you, Uncle Ted. And with that love, gratitude. For a hulk of a presence, throughout the years considered the most successful lawmaker to bring those federal dollars from D.C. back to Alaska. <laughs> Including here, at the airport that now bears his name. It was renamed in 2000 to recognize Stevens who pushed for millions of dollars in federal funding for major expansions and upgrades on the former Anchorage International Airport. <laughs> And a place where his presence will greet visitors and hometown folks alike for years to come. We want the statue to represent not only a welcoming senator, um, but we also want it to inspire Alaskans to take on the hard challenges like he did. And soon, from the air to the sea, another major force bearing his name and honoring his memory and his strength of steel as the USS Ted Stevens takes to the waters to protect and serve. 40 years. It's hard to believe that so much time could pass so quickly, but it has. And I want everyone listening to know that I treasure every moment I've spent here representing Alaska and Alaskans, the land and the people that I love. Hey Maria, I thought it was really interesting at Ted Stevens Memorial Service people on both sides of the political aisle praising him and that, his work. That's what stood out most to me and to others as well. Um, how all the lawmakers, including Biden and Democrat Daniel Inouye, talked about how well Stevens, of course, who was a Republican, right. and others during that time worked together with respect. And even if they disagreed on policy during those years, they were able to talk it out and compromise to do what's best for their states, the bottom line. And then let it go, oftentimes over a drink after hours. Uh, in fact, Inouye, uh, who was a very close friend of Stevens, said that during the service that while they were politically, while they were at odds at times, disagreed at times, he referred to Stevens as a brother from another mother. Definitely a powerhouse on Capitol Hill, yes, that's for sure. Yes.